Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand functions of operating systems. The main functions of operating systems are process management, process synchronization, memory management, I/O device management, and file system management. So, the detailed why, what is the need of process management has already been explained in our process state diagram. So, there we have discussed multiple programs are getting executed on the central processing unit. As multiple programs are getting executed, the processes which are getting executed are to be managed so that the detailed explanation why the need of process management has already been explained in a process state diagram video so and the next one is process synchronization whenever multiple processes are sharing the same memory same memory then those processes are to be synchronized in order for the efficient utilization so in order for the processes to be managed in an efficient way the processes should be synchronized whenever shared memory access is done share whenever the same memory is accessed by multiple processes then the process synchronization has to be done so that is a very important aspect very important function of the operating system and the third function of the operating system is memory memory management memory management means it is primary memory management ram management so the primary memory or the uh, ram has to be managed efficiently so that we can utilize the cpu time efficiently if the ram uh, is not utilized efficiently then the utilization of the cpu time is uh, uh, we are going to reduce the utilization of the cpu time we cannot utilize the cpu time efficiently okay so that is another function of the operating system and the next one is IO device management as we are having multiple IO devices connected to your central processing unit so those devices are to be managed and it is one of the functionality of the operating system to manage all those IO devices which are connected to the CPU in our course we are going to deal with especially we are going to deal with secondary memory management means hard disk management okay so how the hard disk uh, uh, will get divided how how efficiently the hard disk will get managed so that we are going to understand in this io device management and the next one is file system management as the files are getting stored on the hard disk and uh, the files are getting organized so in a file in a folder we are going to have multiple files and folders in a in uh, within that folder we are going to have multiple files so this is how the files and folders are getting organized on our computer we were able to open a new folder create a new folder rename the folder so all these functions functionalities are, uh, are the functionalities of the operating system so that file system organization file system management is another functionality of the operating system okay so each and every every uh, uh, function of the operating system is an individual section in our course we are going to understand detailed in a detailed way about each and every functionality of the operating system in, a, in this class we are just having a brief introduction to the file uh, functions of operating systems hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching